forward to seeing 100,000 people on March 6 fighting the snow to see the Indians and the Cavaliers take on uh, LeBron James. Uh, I'm, I'm sure that the NBA had, had no knowledge of that, but certainly uh, I would think the, the Indians can send a little note to Major League Baseball and say, hey, you might want to know this. You got LeBron James and a few other people downtown and we may have a problem. Although the snow out won't, won't make it matter. We know where Fedor will be. By the way, is there anyone more out of touch than Major League Baseball? Oh. Who just no. dropped the schedule a couple of hours before NBA schedule release yeah. comes out? You know that it's going to get lost. You know it's going to get buried. You're not going to beat the NBA when it comes to that. It could be a really, really exciting thing, I think, for baseball fans. But just tossing it a couple of hours before the NBA has its scheduled release, and it was well, scheduled to be like, I don't know, three days in advance or something like that. I just I, didn't understand I'll it. tell you what, I think baseball did do something good this week, and that is they, they did the Field of Dreams thing, uh, which I think is a great bit for baseball, although it's only 8,000. 8, I don't know if they could have made it more, but I, yeah. you got to give them credit on that one, I think. Yeah, so one out of the last 100 <laughs> decisions that they've made, right. nailing it. Yeah, exactly. Well, that's listen, uh, Tyler Naquin gets one out of 57 things. Hey, come on now. How are you, first of all? I'm doing great. How are you guys? All right. Uh, the, getting ready to roll here with uh, just a couple of months away with the uh, Cavaliers. Anything, uh, I mean, you look at the schedule, you got to play everybody twice or four times. So uh, anything that stands out, long road, too many long road trips, or doesn't it matter? Yeah, so I think three really long road trips is a lot. I think the Cavs have two more back-to-backs than the average NBA team does. The NBA has done a really good job of trying to spread out the schedule and limit back-to-backs, and there are no four games and five nights and things like that, but the Cavs have more back-to-backs than any other team, um, I would think, in the NBA, or more than the average, at least. Let's I, put it that way. We're, we're uh, showing some notable... Thing, oh, go ahead. The other thing that stands out to me, guys, is that early on, like they went 0-6 to start the year last year, and then they fired head coach Ty Lu. Early on, the opportunity is there for the Cavs to get off to a better start, and maybe John Beeline won't have to wait as long for his first NBA win because four of their first nine are against non-playoff teams from last year. All right, let's take a look at this list that we popped up here a moment ago, and we'll see what stands out. You got Wednesday, October 23rd, season opener against Orlando, the home openers against Indiana on the 26th, and then uh, you've got uh, Friday, November 8th, is the ESPN game at Washington home game against New Orleans on January 28th, and then March 26th, as we mentioned, it's the uh, Los Angeles Lakers. Has LeBron stated he's not going to play in that game? or not? <laughs> Well, you missed one on that particular list. There is the return of Kyrie Irving for the oh, first yeah. time of the Brooklyn Nets, but if you remember, he only came to Cleveland once as a member of the Boston Celtics. It was his first ever game as a member of the Celtics. It was opening night in 2017. Um, after that, Kyrie decided he didn't want to come to Cleveland anymore. Brooklyn, the first game that he comes to Cleveland or is scheduled to come to Cleveland is the second game of a back-to-back -back for the Nets. And the <laughs> night before, they play the New York Knicks and Madison Square Garden. Excellent. So you take a guess which game Kyrie is going to <laughs> And now he's also not going to want to go to Boston, right? Right. <laughs> right. All of a sudden, Kyrie, in like five years or something like that, is going to have a He's going to have a no playlist, like yeah, a no, we've got no trade list. Chris Feeder.